What's going on guys, Blaze or Lucas here, and as always, I hope you're all having a great day so far. It is Monday. Memorial Day, the day that I'm recording this. This video might even go up today. As I start to get more active with making YouTube videos, I hope you guys are cool with making these videos every now and then. I used to make them a lot, just kind of sitting down, talking to you guys. These are honestly my favorite videos to make back in the day. Haven't made one in a while. And it's funny, I actually wanted to make this video the day before I left for Toronto and some happened, I couldn't make it. And then I left for Toronto and I spent a week in Toronto. And while I was there, all the crazy stuff with Tifu and uh, FaZe and Banks went down. Before I get into anything here, I just want to make it 100% clear that I'm really not trying to insert myself in new drama. By the day that all this went down, I tweeted some, I don't even remember what I tweeted. I basically tweeted some defending FaZe Clan and a lot of people took it as me like attacking Tifu or attacking like other people. I really don't like drama. The reason that I tweeted that is because there were some people who I thought were like really truly my friends who kind of used that opportunity to, to just take shots at FaZe. I wasn't cool with that. It got a little emotional. But all the drama, all the business aside, I hope everything gets worked out in the long run. I don't want to take any more time talking about the drama. Uh, that's not what this video is about. This is literally just like a, like a FaZe Banks hype video and kind of just a, a little bit of a video of me sitting down telling you guys my story. I haven't told it in a long time and there's one part of this that I've like never shared with any of you guys and it involves banks. So let's get into it. Uh, for those of you guys that don't really know too much about me, when I grew up, I moved around a lot. I went to five different schools in five years. From seventh grade to my junior high school, I went to a different school during every year. One of those years I even spent abroad in a country called Austria, it's in the middle of Europe. That's actually where I was born. I was born in Vienna, Austria. I spent a year there when I was 15 years old. So I did a lot of moving and because of that, I didn't really have like a specific set of friends, you know, that most people have when they grow up in a small town or whatever. You know, a certain group of people for most of your life. I didn't have that, obviously I made friends everywhere I went, but they were only friends for like a year and then I'd move on, move to a different place and wouldn't really hear too much from them. It's funny though, the one thing that I did have throughout all those years was my Xbox and during all all those years of traveling, my best friends were the ones that I played video games with every day. My internet friends. Like I was really just straight up raised on the internet. When I lived in Austria for a year, I was really into like the whole Call of Duty community at the time. I started getting into Modern Warfare 2 and then these teams started to pop up out of nowhere like FaZe and Wolfpack and I'm, I'm trying to think of the other teams such a long time ago. And I was just like a, like a huge fan back then with no expectations or ambitions of ever like being a YouTuber or nothing. I just straight up wanted to make Call of Duty videos, started editing Call of Duty montages. Made a little team with my best friend at the time, Nick, who was one of those people that I just get home from school with every day and just play video games with, talk online. And during all this phase was really starting to come up on YouTube. I think they had like 200 or 300,000 subscribers when I first really started. Sorry, my mom FaceTime. FaZe had around 200, 300,000 subscribers when I became a huge fan of the team and just started watching every single one of their videos. I wanted to be exactly like them, do exactly the same stuff they did, so I started following a bunch of the other teams. Obey, Soar, all these other Call of Duty teams that existed in that world. Everybody's favorite team at the time was FaZe. The team that was right behind them was this team called Soar, which Banks happened to be part of. I don't know if he was a part of the team when I first heard of Soar. I think he was. Bottom line, for as long as I've known Banks, he's been like a, a leader type, just at the top making decisions. I was like, damn, I gotta get to know this guy. I gotta show him what I can do. Right before Phase did its first Phase 5 challenge, Banks got recruited to Phase. I started going for the Phase 5 challenges. Didn't make it in the first year. Didn't make it in the second year. But I started to kind of like put myself on the radar of the Phase leaders just by making a bunch of YouTube videos and just playing COD. Eventually, through a lot of hard work in high school, my senior year of high school, I ended up joining Phase, which was like, it's still to this day is my biggest accomplishment, probably will be my biggest accomplishment throughout most of my life. Yeah, absolutely crazy. I was living at home at the time, just making YouTube videos. This was about halfway through my senior year of high school. Started to grow a little bit on YouTube. I think I had just hit 100,000 subscribers when I joined FaZe. And it still is to this day. Even though you can make good money off YouTube, it's still a hobby to me. It's always been a hobby. At the time, it was like my favorite thing in the world. It's, it's the only thing that I wanted to do. And because it was the only thing that I really wanted to do, I didn't really know what to, what to do with my life. The only ambition that I had was I just wanted to play video games and, and make YouTube videos. Well, I still I applied to college. I was pretty decent in high school. It's funny, I just tweeted out saying the only reason I had good grades in high school is because of video game. My parents like threatened to take my shit away every single time my grades looked like they were going down. So I like really had to keep up and, and be good in school. And because of that, I got into some pretty good colleges. I was on my way to go into a, a school in California called UC Santa Barbara. Pretty decent school. Actually, I think it's a really good school. But yeah, I, I paid my tuition. I went to like the first couple orientations. Like I was ready to go to college and just be a regular college kid, which I was cool with. Bottom line, for those of you who don't know me, like any situation where I find myself in life, like I'm chilling. I know what I need to be like happy. So whether I'm living with the FaZe bros, working on FaZe, or I'm in college studying some random shit, 
That would have been fun. Picture me, okay? I'm like 18 years old at the time, and like I'm really starting to wrap my head around, you know, moving out of my house to a college, meeting all these new people at college, and, and figuring out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life study. And dude, I, I swear to God, it could not have been more of a buzzer beater. I gotta look, I gotta find my DMs actually now. Fast forward, I'd say about a month after orientation, this is literally right before I graduated high school. I open up Twitter, I get a little DM from FaZe Banks. DM says, would you move into the house if given the opportunity? He's talking about the FaZe house in New York at the time. How do I explain this like, well, I didn't really have like idols growing up. I think Cristiano Ronaldo at one point was like a huge idol of mine because I was really, really, really heavily into soccer when I was super young. But the people that I like really looked up to and just wanted to be like were the people in FaZe. FaZe Rain, FaZe Banks, FaZe Apex, FaZe Temper. Basically everyone who was living at the FaZe house at the time, at the time that he asked me. Just be me for a second, right? Be me again. You're 18 years old. You're thinking you're going to college. And then this dude hits you with a DM and asks you to move into the FaZe house in New York. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I really don't remember I remember how I reacted. I, I, I'm looking at my messages right now and I kept it pretty cool. But for the rest of my life, no matter what I do, no matter what I accomplish, if anybody asks me like, who put you on is Banks. And let me explain to you guys why. He asked me to move into the phase house in New York without asking a single person if it was cool. He didn't ask Apex, he didn't ask Rain, didn't ask Tommy. He literally just DM'd me. He legit just saw me, believed in me, and asked me to move in. And that brings me to like what kind of a person he is. I don't want to speak on his character. Like I don't want to sit here and tell you guys what kind of a person he is because I'm not one of his closest people. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what he's like. But for the time that I've known him, it's funny, he loves his brother and his dad, I think more than himself. I think he just puts others in front of himself. For the time that I've known him, he puts others in front of himself. He'll literally put himself and like all his shit on the line for you to get an opportunity. And that's why I felt so bad like watching all this, this shit go down from the sidelines. It, it just, the dude emotionally invests himself so much into people even though I think he shouldn't he still does I think it's it's really beautiful to see and it's beautiful to see how many people feel the same way that I do I literally don't have to sit here and, and, and defend the guy even though I feel like it's always nice to have a homie defending you there's so many people out there who feel the exact same way that I do I truly believe that everything I've accomplished up until this point I've done with hard work but if anybody ever asks me um, who put me on it will always be phase banks I didn't find out till a long time afterward but the dude literally asked me to move in without asking permission from anybody could have ended way worse for him and me but because of that decision I now have not only like a like a career and a future and I can support myself and my family which is huge but something I value way 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 more than all that he brought me together with phase and gave me the group of friends that I have today and the family that I have around me today. All those internet friends that I'd play Xbox with every day, come home from school with, talk online with every day. I ended up moving in with them and living with them and they're literally my family. They're, they're not just friends, they're literally my, my dead ass family. So as a homie and a fan, Ricky, I gotta thank you. And with that being said, that wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, as always, smash that like button. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Always remember to stay sloppy and that's been it. Peace. We wanna ball and